So I think the idea of sales channel conflict isn't a new one to digital ad sellers. Um, they've been managing it with their own sales force and uh, ad networks for many years. Um, programmatic obviously adds a new element to that, creating some layer of automation, um, which oftentimes would be uh, driven by maybe a, a, not a traditional salesperson, but uh, somebody with a little bit more technology expertise. So, um, of course, it can cause sales conflict. The issue is, is uh, as a chief revenue officer, ensuring that you are working uh, uh, to make sure it doesn't, and uh, drawing you know firm guidelines between your own sales force. Uh, and uh, and what is being sold programmatically, um, when done best, um, the salespeople um, will also be selling uh, programmatically and adding that to the more premium direct sold inventory that they're doing overall. But um, I'd say the short answer, yes, it can, but good sales forces um, will find a way to um, align incentives and hopefully integrate the offerings together more and more. I think the first thing when setting goals for a programmatic strategy is to first establish what your key performance indicators are going to be. What are the metrics that you're aiming to hit? Um, a, a lot of programmatic uh, campaigns can suffer when those aren't identified early and the technology isn't tuned uh, in order to achieve them. So I'd say uh, establishing KPIs um, is the first thing. I think the second thing, which has been a big theme uh, this year from both advertisers and publishers, uh, is to create more transparency. Um, and that's both for the cost of media, that's for data, um, uh, as well as what inventory is actually being purchased um, to ensure that it's not fraudulent. But that's probably been the biggest theme of this year um, is, is transparency. Um, if there was a third goal for the strategy, um, you know, obviously it's um, uh, you know, moving beyond maybe your key performance indicators, which may be more click driven or impression driven to ensure that you're actually tying back to sales. Um, in the end, uh, that's what matters, uh, is driving revenue for the company. Um, and that may not be a direct line uh, for a key performance indicator, but um, making sure that you can connect the dots um, and know that you're actually achieving what you're setting out to do, which is sell more of your goods and services, is obviously a pretty important one as well. When I think of the next evolution of programmatic, I think about what uh, has been unfolding this year uh, around programmatic direct, where we're getting beyond the idea of programmatic as being an open auction uh, and really utilizing the technology uh, for what programmatic to me really is about, which is about automation and data driven. And that doesn't necessarily need to be uh, an open auction. That can be done directly and just simply automating the workflow. Um, when I think about sort of the next frontier for um, uh, for, for this style of business, I, I'm really excited about television. And we've seen a lot of news on that front of late. Um, for example, Tube Mogul launched their new programmatic TV platform last week. Um, we've seen news that uh, ESPN uh, is going to start selling some of their inventory programmatically. And, uh, and AOL, I'd say, was a, another company that's highlighted this opportunity when they uh, uh, launched an initiative during advertising week with, uh, with NBC Universal on. So um, television is the frontier. It's the area where a lot of marketers spend a lot of their dollars and bringing this technology to it. It's going to be very difficult. You're not dealing with universal uh, internet protocol based communication systems. It's different infrastructure. It's going to take time. Um, but there's clearly some acceleration and momentum building in the market for that. And, and that's really exciting because there's so many big budgets there um, where this technology can be applied to.